Hello, and this is an Adventure Craft update. So, um, I figured this time, um, since the updates are mainly scripting focused, I'd uh, actually explain uh, various parts of the update. First off, the non scripting update. Um, undo stack now stores the cursor selection. So, if I come over here, change this around, nudge it over here, I can now see that the cursor actually moves with the uh, undo stack. Uh, so, that's good. Now, another new feature is now from scripting, you can actually spawn entities. This is here, we're in debug mode. First off, I'm going to store the player position. Now, we're going to spawn a cow at this position that we just saved right here. What we got is, hey, we got a cow that spawned. Yay. <laughs> and it moves. So another thing you could spawn, for example, is of course, say a pig, just to show that it will spawn more than just cows. So, hey, that's a pig. So that's good. The next major feature that I've added is uh, now through uh, scripts you can actually create models. So, to give an example, I'm going to first off, we gotta define our model. So the uh, model class is called model. So we store that in our variable m. Then we're going to set the position of the model to our previous position. Now this model doesn't actually have anything, so we're going to add a cube that's 8 by 8 by 8, offset by 4 by 4 by 4, so it'll actually be centered on that position that we had previously set. So now we have a model here. Uh, though you'll notice this texture doesn't seem to be quite right. That's because it's using whatever texture was last used. So let's go ahead and change it to, say, the character's texture. Hey, now we got our face there. Or we could change it, say, to the skeleton texture. So now it's a skeleton head. Alright. And in addition to that, we can actually there's some commands for moving it around. So if we move it by, this says move one forward, one meter that is, and you see it moves one meter forward. Or we could say rotate it by 45 degrees on the uh, on yaw. We'll see, turns. Yay! Something else we can do is we can actually attach these models to entities. So we're going to attach it to the player, and we're going to zero out all the x, y, z, yaw because that actually controls the offset of, from the attachment. So now we have a skeleton head on our uh, character. If we come over here, yeah, we have a skeleton head. Now, it's kind of hard to tell because it's right on us, so we are going to offset it by one meter, and now we have a skeleton head that's floating one meter above our head, basically, uh, where our eyes look at. But in addition to that, we can actually so just attach it to ourselves. Let's say let's attach it to that pig there. So first off, we got to get pig. So we just by using the get entities within range command, we got the entity near us, and we've got the it's stored in the variable animal the pig. Now we're going to attach the uh, skull to the pig. Let's uh, offset it slightly more. So now. As the pig was around, <laughs> you can see the skeleton heads move around with the pig. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So as I said, we've added the uh, cursor to the undo stack. So let me see. You can see that. We added spawning of animals, or spawning of actually a lot of entities. And as well, custom models that can be created from cubes and such and attached to entities or moved around separately about the entity. Thank you.